Hey YouTube, um, I just uh, bought the, what do you call it, King's Loot wallet online. Um, I saw it on Facebook and um, it looked like something that I might be interested in. Now, um, it's probably because of the pandemic, but it took me a while to get this. Uh, I think I've been waiting nearly uh, three weeks or maybe a little longer. Not a big deal though, it's not something that I was dying to have or anything. 74 bucks for a wallet. Um, I never spent $74 on a wallet before. Uh, and uh, that's fine. Uh, it's Like I said, it's more than I wanted to spend, pretty much. But uh, anyway, I liked it. You know, they uh, put it on Facebook with this uh, video. Um, and anyway, so... This is it. Let's see here. It came with a few extra things and uh, all that, so that's cool. So anyway, comes packaged, a uh, little bubble wrap thing, whatever, uh, black. Here you have this uh, real nice packaging. I like it. Uh, the old school wax seal. Um, I think it's fake though. Let me see. Yeah, it's a magnetic, magnetic uh, strip there. But anyway, uh, let's see. All right. So anyway, $74. And uh, mm, let's see what we have here. Um, I ordered the buckskin. And uh, let me get this open. Wow, a lot of packaging here. Oh. All right, so wrapped again in black. And at first, I gotta be honest, uh, a little bit paranoid that they sent me the wrong one. So, no, this is it, I think. So, yeah, this looks like it. You get uh, this guy here that they show on the video and it's got all those features it is the buckskin very nice soft smells like a new pair of texas steer boots um got the money money clip that holds the bills right in place there so that's nice um and the drawstring here to put your bills in there and pull them or your cards right in here and it'll pull them right back up now that's up, I'm going to have to put something in there to get it closed. So, and it also came with a, probably like, you know, if you're just going to go for um, a ride or somewhat with someone else, it came with a smaller little hook up here. It's all wrapped up too. And this, they did send it in black, so whatever, I don't care. It's just a... A little card holder it's got the the king's loot emblem there but uh anyway it came with a little little card holder uh and i saw some other videos in it i think it'll hold up to oh uh, yeah it'll hold you know three or four different cards it's got a finger slot here and one comment now when i uh saw this online i heard i, I was reading the comments when i saw it on facebook and uh one of the comments was um, that, why does the driver's license slide out this way, you know, forcing you to have to open this all the way and force force you to have to slide that, you know, you'd have to open this, but then slide the driver's license out that way. But, uh, you know, I got to refute that comment because let me tell you something, when this is in your pocket or whatever, a driver's license, one of the most important things, even more important than a credit card to me, because I can get that stopped, canceled, replaced, simple. But the driver's license, that can be a real chore. You, you know, you got to come up with so much ID, got to prove who you are just to get your driver's license replaced. So with it sliding this way, it can't go anywhere. See, when that's in your pocket, it, you're never going to lose it. Another reason I bought this wallet and, and what it appealed to me, uh, Mostly was uh, because it's slim. And let me show you what I'm working with here. This I keep in my back pocket right now. 
and driving with this, it ends up in the console. I'll get in, you know, the store, go pick out everything I want, get up to the register and my wallet's in the car because I always leave it in the console. And this right here causes you to get your windows busted out. You know the drill. With this, you know, um, they really try to sell this as like a front pocket wallet or whatever, but I don't think I would even be concerned about wearing it in the front pocket or anything like that. That's not uh, why I would, you know, want it. I, I would uh, still probably put it in my back pocket. I'm gonna try it out in my front pocket, but I'm 48 years old and I've never kept a wallet in my back pocket before, so that may be uh, kind of rough. There's a sticker here, and I don't know what it's for, so I'm going to have to look into that. Um, anyway, you have this King's Loot card here, and again, you know, you got this finger slot to get your license out. You just move this back, bam, you know, and that's nice. Uh, again, when you put the cards in, it'll it'll push down that strap. So that's cool, um, I think. Anyway, um, yeah, maybe I ruined it, I don't know. Uh, because I pulled it up without cards in it or something, maybe. I don't know. But it, it it's nice, this wallet is nice all the way around. This money clip, looks like it comes out, but no need to take that out. Also, it, it also came with um, this really nice money clip here it was kind of like a package deal oh also this wallet is lifetime replacement so I don't think I'd ever try it but who knows this is heavy it's got the King's Loot uh, logo there really nice um, you can see it's real heavy um, and uh, Real stout too, so I don't use money clips. You could probably get away with using this as a tie clip if you wanted to. I don't know, but anyway, it, it is a money clip. Comes with the extra little deal there. Um, but yeah, I think. Oh, I know where this goes. This goes in here. Okay, yeah. So if you there's a pocket right here for inside there's three cards and there, there's finger release for that but this outside one is for whatever card you keep in there and you pull that little cord on the back and it draws that up so that's kind of nice um not sure what this king's loot card does i could scan it and see um maybe it's so you can get your free replacement for life i don't know but yeah when you put your cards in there it closes that back up so that's nice. And, I, you know, I'm not going to sit here. Well, you know what? I guess I could go ahead and transfer everything into this and see how it works for me. I have a couple of insurance cards. One's expired. One is not. don't know which one. I carry two credit cards with me. I have my registration and driver's license. Oh, and then all my favorite stores. Let's see. Kroger, Speedway Gas Station, Circle K Gas Station, Certification Card, Auto Parts, Fishing License. That's expired. Get rid of that. Uh, Beaumont, Hospital, whatever. Subway Card. I haven't used it in a long time, but I might. Key Card for Work, Gas Station Card, another Beaumont, and another credit card so here's what we're gonna do these insurance cards I'll keep together okay so driver's license it's obvious where that's gonna go so I'm gonna move back the money clip let me get you guys in view here so you can see what's going on all right hold on okay so I'll put the registration in first and driver's license right on top of that that's how I roll. Now, I don't know about you, but that is pretty secure. You just push that and pull it right on out. You see, that way it's not going anywhere. Even if it does try to move, you know, that was pretty well thought out. Um, actually, my old wallet, same way, you know, it, it go in 
to the fold and not, you know, any other way. I, that comment was so backwards. That guy should be ashamed of himself who, who uh, was harping on the wallet over that. Now, your bills, they're going to lay straight in here, just flat, you know, a long ways, and you just clip that down on top of them. Now, I don't have any cash, um, or I'd show you. I mean, I'll use this piece of paper here. So I, if I had two or three hundred dollar bills, I'd just sit them right here and bam, and then bam, you know. And they're not going anywhere. Even if you open it, it's not going anywhere because you, you've got that clip there to hold it, you know. Let me turn the light on. Let's try that light. Okay. Too much light. Whatever. Who cares? All right. So, um, but a very cool wallet. It comes with all kinds of extra little pouches and stuff. Who cares, right? Uh, the money clip is interesting. I don't carry them. Might be nice in certain circumstances. Um, little pouch here for the money clip. I don't know what you could possibly use these things for. I still don't know what the sticker's for. Not yet, anyway. Um, so, I really like this money clip. It does come out and uh, everything, but I like it. I'm going to leave it in. So, there's that. I really wish I had some cash to put in there for uh, just a show. So, most used credit card right up front bam uh, second most used card right behind it bam actually oh and this has riff ID I don't know if I said that right but that is um, you know so people can't scan your information or whatever I guess there's a way they can just scan your card right through your wallet but see they can't do that with this Okay, so that's awesome. Um, that's pretty awesome. I really like that pull cord. But um, anyway, now there's no opening. Like nothing opens on the side here. Nothing opens on this side. All your stuff has to go in the uh, other pockets of this wallet. Now here is another one on the back. So. I don't know how many this is going to hold. So we have my, you know what? I can't put this Kroger card in there. I use this one, this one all the time. Speedway and Kroger the most. My key card for work is rather thick. This gets me in the building at work. So I need that somewhere as well. Actually, the perfect spot. I never need to take it out. This must be the, the Riff ID. Scan with phone. I'll, I'll try that and see what that does. But this card here will go in the back of the wallet. This is magnetic. And there we go. Perfect. If I ever need to get that out, just pull it right on out. So, there we go. I love it. And uh, it, it's right in there so that's easy now I still have a lot of cards let's see how many more I can stuff into this wallet I don't want to carry any more than I have to um, let's see so I have I really don't need AutoZone I don't need Circle K um, I do stop there sometimes, so I can, you know, I could keep these in the car. It's a good idea. Keep those in the car. These two have to stay with me. I use them all the time. So let me put this one in there. It's my Speedway card. I use this one a lot. Speedway gas station. They got the best coffee. And um, so, hmm. Yeah, I don't know where to put this guy. I, I tell you what, I, I use this Speedway card all the time. So I'm going to put it right up here. Wham. And 
Kroger behind it. Blam. So even still, thinner than the other wallet. Well, the other wallet had a ton of stuff in it, but this is this is great. Now these, this is cool because I'll keep this in my car and put all these guys in it, and I'll still have them with me. So I got my subway card. Let's see, AutoZone, Circle K, nice. Boom. Uh, even an expired fishing license is better than no fishing license, I think. Probably not, but whatever. So I'll put that in there. Eh, no, I won't. Oh, insurance. Shoot, I still got to fit these in here. All right. I'll manage. I'll figure it out. But uh, so that's it. The King's Loot wallet. Very awesome. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely cool. I'm glad I bought it. I, I don't know if I'd spend that much money on it. Again, but I don't have to because uh, once you own it, it's got free repra uh, free replacement for life. So hopefully that works out. All right, guys, that's about it for the King's Loot wallet. It is uh, it is nice as they say it is. Um, that guy had some small hands because it's not as big as I thought it was, which is fine. But I don't think I'm gonna get many more cards in there, and if I do. It's going to be tough getting them out. And that key card I have for work is really thick. So that's kind of knocking me out of getting more cards in there. Um, but these two, at least one of these insurance cards, I have to keep with me. So we'll figure that out. All right. Peace out.